Welcome to Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less. This is brought to you by the Gun News and Reviews channel. Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less has brought you a handful of stories about Remington Arms resuming production as Rem Arms in their Elian, New York plant. Well, here's a first look at what they're cranking out the door. These are an example of four shotguns today. They were on display at Shields, and that's a, a big box retailer that's in the upper Midwest. The 870 Express, and in addition to that, we also saw uh, various versions of the Remington 700, a couple different calibers as well, and wanted to show these to you today to give you an idea what Remington's, the new Remington's, Rem Arms products look like, and as you can see here on these Remington 700s, I would grade these about where they left off. As you can see, that's uh, not a fancy machining job on that bolt whatsoever. It's just a bolt. So I liken that to what you saw in the Remington 783, to be honest. But, uh, you know, we can give that a pass, give them some time to start offering some better versions of that. Uh, here is the 870 shotgun. And really don't have a lot of comment uh, cycling it to say it's good or it's bad, but uh, we're going to take a little bit closer look now at uh, the actual fit and finish of these 870s. And uh, the, the first thing I noticed right off the bat is a huge failure to fit the buttstock to the receiver. Now, okay, maybe that's just one of them. That kind of happens, but here's the second example equally uh, is bad. We're talking a couple millimeters all the way around. Here's the third example, uh, and, and, and looking uh, at the fourth example. Uh, also, these butt stocks, these rubber butt stocks, these pads really don't look like they're in very good shape. No example of them does. So I'm going to be 100% transparent here. I am rooting for Remington. A couple different reasons. Number one, first firearms I ever owned Remington, by far. Love the name. Has been the oldest firearms manufacturer in the United States. Lots of tradition. Lots of great stuff. If you go back through my video catalog, you're going to see lots of Remington rifles. Some good, some bad. Uh, the older ones, I love them all. So I'm rooting for Remington. So it disappoints me to see this kind of effort coming from that factory and those workers. But what's mind-boggling to me is this. You've gone through everything you have. You've brought production back up to Elian, New York. You've got through all your problems, uh, work rules, and how things are going to be handled with the United Mine Workers of America. You have opened your doors and you've started creating Pretty much two models at the start, 870s and Remington 700s. And somehow, somehow this quality of product, at least in terms of fit and finish, is getting out the door. I find that mind-boggling and would almost wonder if there is a quality assurance department, if they've appointed somebody for that particular job, and why management wouldn't have more of a hands-on type of approach to saying, hey, this isn't quality. And if you want to say, what's the big deal? You're just talking about the fit of a buttstock to a shotgun receiver. I think that is a real big deal. There's really not that much going on with a shotgun that if you're not, not going to get that right, what else didn't you get right? Like I said, I'm rooting for them. It's not like I wanted to make this video, but I had to make this video because I have to tell you guys the truth. I have to tell you what I'm seeing. For more on this story, and believe me, there will be, subscribe to Gun News in five minutes or less.